Hey guys, uh, what's going on? So, I actually I had to get a new TF uh, iCoil. When I have to, I just wanted to finish off my MSD install in the last video. And I thought I would show you m with my experiences with this uh, new 8227 coil. Uh, this all plastic one, like, I guess I call it E-Core design, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I've actually had two fail just in the testing phase of my EFI uh, conversion, and that was probably about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, and then I was actually looking to buy a new TF Kai coil last night, and I was looking about all the reviews, and man, it looks like uh, on Amazon, this this thing is basically about 90 to 100% failure rate, you know, within a year. So uh, mine only lasted about a week or so, of even that, you know. Um, it was frustrating because you know, I, I'm troubleshooting other things. I mean, I, I thought there was no hell, no way in hell that a brand new coil could fail in a week. And I actually had two that failed like within a, within a month. So, um, but yeah, this is the new design. And they did actually have a previous part number um, that actually has the same part number, which was the old design. But let me show you that real quick. It's the, uh, this is on Amazon. But this is actually what the old part number looked like. And if you go to Amazon and you order this A227, you're going to get that new design. You're not going to get this old design. This is not old stock. Basically, they just have the picture wrong. So it's not... You're going to get the new coil, which sucks and fails. Like, immediately almost. So, instead of actually dealing with this again, which I know is going to fail and probably, you know, keep me... I'm just lucky I didn't get stranded on the side of the road. So, um, stoked with that. But, I mean, if you read, like, the, uh, you know, in the reviews in Amazon, I mean, people were, like, getting stuck on the side of the road, middle of freeway, you know, getting expensive toes, you know, all over a little freaking, you know, $50 coil. So, um, yeah, that's a, a terrible design. I mean, dude, it's a hundred percent failure rate. I mean, that's, that's almost like the freaking four TFI, uh, TFI modules. I mean, those things had a crazy failure rate too. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got. I got this, uh, this is actually made by MSD too. Also, it's called the street file, street fire coil. But what I'm looking for is this old iron design. I don't know if you can see my mouse here, but I'm looking for the, that old iron uh, around this outside here. You know, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that, but you can see my mouse. But yeah, with this old one, it has the metal on the outside. That's usually the good reliable coil. And uh, right now I'm currently running a Motocraft, which is not very reliable. But I just wanted to finish off with something newer and see if that might help out a little bit. Probably won't, but... Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share my experiences with that coil, man. It's total freaking disaster, you know. And I was just, yeah, I didn't know if it was just me or, you know, that I was having issues with it where my, something was wrong with my ignition system was burnout out coils. But, dude, everybody that buys this thing has a problem with it. So, you're warned, man. Forewarned here. So, hopefully uh, this helps somebody or if, uh, hopefully this will save somebody a tow or, or a breakdown. So, if you're thinking about getting this coil, don't. <laughs> Either stick with the motorcraft or get that old iron design. So, all right, cool, man. Later.